Hello everybody, welcome back. Time for us to go through the Ainsel River. Or at least the early accessible part. Note that um, when we get down there, it's going to call this Ainsel River, but there are several named areas down here. Oh wow, look at all these little runes just waiting for us. Here we go, collect those. Um, so this is going to be dealing with the uh, lower portion of Ainsel River. The upper portion isn't accessible to us right now until we have... <gasps> Sorry, I got a hiccup there. Uh, until we have defeated Rodan and gone through uh, Knock on City at the very least. There are a couple of ways to get to the upper area, um, one of which involves uh, dealing with Rani's Questline, but you can get there without doing Rani's Questline. I have videos on both of those on the channel already, so we've gone the wrong way a little bit. Let's go a bit more downhill. A bit more downhill, getting turned around. Is that a grace? I <laughs> didn't even realise that was a grace. there was a grace here. Let's go tag that. It's an extra fast travel point we can have. We'll show that on the map just because anybody following the series may not have seen this. Let's just zoom in on Eastern Tableland. Um, they're going to move on around. So we're going to have obviously a giant boyo down here. I can't remember if we went around the back of this guy and got the key already. So we'll double check that. I think there's a. I'm fairly sure there's a like a. Dude, dead dude on a chair with a, the stone sword key run here, so we wanna just make sure we're picking that up. Can you just please not do this? Oh, he got me. Got me good. Come on. Shouldn't really be an issue for us at this point. Um, I know it's a rune bear behind here, so just be careful. Uh, particularly if you haven't tagged a, a local grace, because uh, I say no, I think it's a room bear around here. Um, you just don't want to be having any particularly bad accidents. Yeah, room bear. And I think there's a key. Could be wrong. I thought there was some loot around here. Let's just. Double check. Yeah, here we go. There we go, stone sort of key. Boom. My memory is not perfect, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Let's go. So now we can head on down to the actual Ainsel River. Skip to the bottom. And here we are at the Angel River Grace. <coughs> Mostly going to be um, ants down here that we have to face off against. These ones aren't really too bad. Oh, they do come down as a group now. They didn't before. I don't know why it never lets me lock on to that one. It's like it it's like that one likes to stay behind or something and, you know, fall you into thinking you've defeated them all. Don't think there's loot at the top of here. Well there is loot, I can see it's shining already. Um and I can't show you the map to kind of just demonstrate kind of where we are in terms of everything right now. Uh but up there <clears throat> is the upper area. Later on we're going to be getting a doll from up there because we will be doing Rani's quest line. <clears throat> I'll try and get you guys as, as many ending options as we can in one playthrough. Although we won't have the Dung Eater one. Which I think... No, it's not quest related. The quest ones are Frenzy Flame, Rani, and then any other Elden Lord one. Yeah, so Seedbed Curses are not required for a trophy. Which is interesting considering how hidden they are. Right, come here, you. There's one behind me, I just remembered. Um, and if I remember rightly, when we go down this left bit here, one should kind of rise up behind me, so let's... Also, I know someone's going to want this on, so let's do that. Let's 
smithing stone threes. What we're saying is we could have come down here much earlier. It means most things down here shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. In fact, they can two hit these with my rapier is a pretty significant indictment <laughs> of where we are right now. Rapier just poking things to death. Uh, we do want to clear left. Is this the first? No, it's not. That's fine. This upstairs isn't the first. There's, there's there's a version of the ants that has like a big bouldery head, and it, it it annoys me to death. So I don't like them very much. Come over here. I don't have full health right now. I might as well be on there. I've cleaned my inventory out a little bit, so it's quicker for me to jiggle things around. So yes, be careful in here. Uh, the thing on the left is going to drop us, I think, a rune arc and, um, come on, we'll just put them all down. And I'll just use this to clear them out. Come on. Just going to arc it out. What? You're just not aggro. <laughs> Weirdo. Uh, I don't know if these can even attack or anything. They kind of just... Die? Oh, I thought they could usually give you a big... Yeah, here we go. Big rune and rune arc. It's questioning my memory there. There's going to be like a room full of them later and you'll get loads of like rune items. All good. You guys go ahead and chomp them up. I'm just going to leave them in my inventory. So if you'd have followed the cave down, that'll bring you out there. I don't think there's any extra loot in there. Oh no, there is actually a grace up there. We should go and tag that. We'll go back and tag that. No, there's no riding of horse in this bit. Unlike most of the other underground parts. So these enemies, for me, are on par with the... Um, Zombie enemies for just being annoying and not really worth fighting, so we're just going to run past as many of them as we can. We'll take this, it's a loot, and then we're going to go up here. I wonder if the lift will work. I don't know if it will. Oh yeah, it's fine. Usually you have to activate the lift from the other side for it to work. Oh man, they're all going to start coming over. Is it here yet? Come on, I need the lift now. There it is. Hundred and forty runes each. <laughs> Joking. Um, I believe they're called claymen. I don't know quite know how good the summon is. You can actually get a summon for those, and um, yeah, maybe they're kind of tanky. Could be. So here's the grace. Don't think there's any loot we need to worry about. Might be some glove war. Let's go and double check. We'll keep this whole area in one video because there's no point in me splitting it up. So if that means it's a little longer, that's just how it's going to have to be. Yeah, we've got some glove war. You can see the see the cave just there. That's all good. There we are. It goes to glove war one. Save you a few hundred runes later. A few extra shinies. Come on. There we go. Just because I know somebody somewhere is going to be like, Hey, you missed this mega important loot with arrows in it. And I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and it's this 100% walkthrough. So, 100% unique items walkthrough. Let's go with that. So, we'll have a quick rest at the Grace. I can't remember if we did or not. It doesn't look like we did. It's going to reset all the enemies for us. And when we'll come down the lift, we'll take a right um, for another kind of side path. That's going to allow us to deal with an annoying enemy in the next one. We've actually faced one before, so we've got another um, ant queen thing. This one should be easy, though, because it's lower level than the other ones that we've had. Look at that took so long before. That's going to go straight for a right turn. 
Luckily, I don't think there's any ledges on this particular bit, so we can just go across here. I suppose you could rune arc these with a few extra runes, but just not, just not worth it. So I'm just going to jump over these rocks. That's going to let us see this little hidden cave. Quite a well hidden cave, actually. That little dark corner. Still no map for me to show you, as I'm sure you guys can tell. There's the ant thing. You're going to want to use a pillar. Because I don't think there's any loot on this particular bit here, which is kind of, um, kind of good. Can I knock you off? That'd be lovely. Nope. Let's just grab it. We really don't want to fall off, because that's going to be an annoyingly long reset. Oh, man. Up here. Let's go quickly. It's going to be much better to, re to reset after this thing's dead, so... I believe there's a piece of loot behind me. I think it's just another upgrade stone, but... Um... Honestly, I'm just not interested in trying to get it while this thing's alive. So just gonna get down here. And then now we can just do stuff like get this out. Boom! Um there's a chest up there. Can't get it yet. This is, that's the part of the upper area. Don't worry about it. Uh, from here, from here, from here. There's nothing in this bit, which is real weird. Uh, I'm going to go off here. It's actually... No, I think it actually needs more decks from us. Could be a potential weapon for us. That's the wing of Astal, but I think it needs decks, and I'm not doing decks. We're not leveling it at all. It's not a thing. For my pure mage. The pure mage only has a poker. I could use the cane sword later, but the rapier just seems to be seems to be the best one. Brand new merchant. Thank you, sir. I'll take your goodies. Who happens to be sat with the map? So now we can take a look at stuff. Yay! So just a quick recap. We came down. Ainsel Riverwell, Ainsel Riverwell Depths. This was the waterfall. We can't get up here yet. Um, so we came down this way. We cleared this bit. We've been across here like this. Went and cleared this little mouth bit. Came down. We've obviously come through this bit just here. And now we've ended up exactly where we are. There's another grace just here if we really need it. Um, but there shouldn't be too much cause for that right now. I think there was a piece of loot up there, which is going to bug me. We didn't get it before. I'm positive from that thing. You can go backwards where we went up. There's a piece of loot on there. I'm just going to try and get a get an eye on it. Yeah, I can just about see it glowing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to run around. There's loot all over the place in here. I might miss something. Most of it is just kind of... What's the word? Like low-level low loot, like you just saw there. Um, nothing's going to be, like, amazingly outstanding for us. But um, nevertheless, we're going to want to run around and just have a bit of a bit of enjoyment out of all the loot that we now have available. Flex, excuse me. So if we hadn't have come through the cave, that's where you'd have come out. Um, tons of loot in front of you, which is kind of cool. Oh, one that might actually be worth fighting because it's got glowy eyes. But even then, times times 180 times five is just going to be like 900. It's still nothing. So look how many there are. There's just no point in fighting over this. Nothing, 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 nothing. We came down those stairs. There's a little piece there on the left. Let's get this. Just see the grace clone around the corner. Look, all the smithing stone threes. So with the amount of it, so the things we're getting in here, really not a bad time. Maybe to try some new weapons if you wanted. But um pretty happy with what we've got. Well, 
Well, there we are. I'm sure someone somewhere will like find maybe like a small piece of loot that I just didn't pick up. But as you can see, tons of little bits around here, but nothing like major. Let's go ahead and uh, touch this grease. There's not too much of the cave left. Maybe, maybe we'll go grab that piece of loot that's on that on that pillar. I think it's just another upgrade stone. Um. Yeah, it's just two more smithing stone threes, so I don't feel the need for it. So instead, we'll push on forwards. More anti doodle doos. Uh, should be. A, I thought there was another big one in here. I guess not. It's mega annoying. Still can't one shot it. It's such a shame. Probably good with the bow, but then there's no point using more FP anyway. Two directions here. We're going to go left first. Immunizing the horn charm. Um, it is absolutely swarming with basilisks again down here. The one who uh, infects us with death. Apparently they really like piercing attacks. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Quick, get out of the gas. That's a little too close. So, where is it? There's always one that sneaks out from somewhere and I can never find where it's hiding. Get here, loop this. And make sure you get all of these Aeonian butterflies. They're a pain in the ass to find. Um, and a real, even more of a pain in the ass to farm. The only good farming location that I found is like down there. Unless these guys could drop them. In which case, this is, is uh, way less troublesome. Um, that's the Lick of Rot. Fair amount later. Uh, as you might imagine, it is connected to this little bit here. Um... Probably the least fun place to explore in the game, because it just wants to kill you. <laughs> A lot of the game wants to kill you, but that place really wants to kill you. Okay, so we'll clear our way towards the Dragon Soldier now. One of three, you know, I think about it. There aren't really very many of them. I think this is the one where the big bulb head one is going to be. I think no, 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 no. It is on the left, the first one. It's going to be later. So it's it's in the upper area. I decided that earlier, didn't I? Ignore my ramblings. More loot. Give me that. Basically, for what? Lootal is basically going to be able to solo this thing, isn't it? Because I think, like, with the stuff that's dropping, this place is lower level than the Ainsel River one. So here we are. It's going to... I think it drops down. Does it drop down? Let's get out of the ground. It does drop down. <laughs> Did like no damage to the floor, that was hilarious. Come on, it's gotta be near a stagger. <laughs> yeah, we uh we left you <laughs> might have left you a little late. <laughs> Shouldn't be that funny, but it is. Tag this. Um, where is it? Don't forget this. We can't use it yet. This is a... Um, what do they call them? I can't remember. This gets your summons to plus 10. So you're going to get this. It's like a bulb. Is it a bulb? I'm 
much. Oh, great ghostly vault. Okay, Little will probably be chomping on that for us later. And that is everything. Angel River is done. Angel River depths completely done. Okay. I should just go to one. Hey, you didn't do the open area. That's part of Angel River. No, it's not. This here is called Noxtella. This here is Lake of Rot. Um, and I suppose All Palace spreads because this is called All Palace, and this is also called All Palace. Um, so yeah. Hopefully. You guys are enjoying the series. In the next one, then, we're going to begin working our way from the Minor Earth Tree Catacombs. We'll probably head um, south of the Gale Tunnel for Fort Gale. There's Jail Cave. Uh, I think it's about here for the Ore Blade. There's a Catacomb about here we need to deal with. And I think that's pretty much everything. And then we're probably going to go and kill a dragon over here. Because we should get the Tanto from... I say should. We're going to get the Tanto from Jail Cave. And that is going to allow me to show you guys a trick. I'm probably only going to do it three times. Just to make it fair. And then, uh, yeah. We could go and deal with a load of stuff up here as well, I suppose. We could do the Jail. Because Hughes isn't really that bad. Could grab this. We'll have a rematch with these guys. We're considerably stronger now. And we haven't done this yet. Have we? I'm going to go see if we can get the summon sign for that. Millicent is supposed to be available as a summon against this gargoyle. I'm going to have a quick look at that. Um, but yes, I will meet you guys at the minor Erd Tree catacombs in the next episode as we begin clearing the last of Caled.